Dear viewers, today we came with a new topic from selected topics of chemistry that is intermolecular forces in ligand target interaction or non-covalent interactions. So first of all, what is the importance of intermolecular forces? Intermolecular forces exist in different physical states of matter like solid, liquid and gases. They affect the properties of substances. They are involved in solubility and solvation process. These forces are involved in proper folding of natural and synthetic polymers like DNA, RNA and proteins. They dictate conformational modification in biological system. Intermolecular forces are involved in different surface chemistry reactions. They are also important in molecular recognition by surface receptors. Some other importance of intermolecular forces are they are involved in ligand target interaction. This stabilizes reversible enzyme inhibition complex. These forces are involved in drug interaction and dissolution inside human body. They have adhesive role in medical devices and they are involved in enzyme immobilization on electrodes and important in electrical devices such as LCDs. So what are the different types of intermolecular forces? Number one is electrostatic interactions. Electrostatic interactions include ionic bond, salt bridge, ion dipole interaction, metal ion interaction, hydrogen bond, halogen bond and carbon hydrogen bond. In some literature, Hydrogen bond, halogen and carbon hydrogen bond is included in Van der Waals forces. Second type is Van der Waals forces. These include dipole-dipole interaction, dipole-induced dipole interaction and London dispersion forces. The third one is the pi effect in which there are pi-pi stacking, pi-cation interaction, pi-anion interaction and pi-alkyl interaction. And the last one is the hydrophobic, which includes alkyl alkyl interaction. <coughs> so, we will discuss each one in detail. So, first one is the electrostatic interactions, which includes ionic interaction between two oppositely charged ions of two different molecules. On the right side, there is there is two inter, uh, there is two molecules which shows ionic or electrostatic interaction having two different ions. Second one is the salt bridge. It is the combination of two non-covalent interactions that is ionic bond and hydrogen bond. Here we shown that the two different interactions are electrostatic interaction between ammonium ion and carboxylate ion. And the second one is the hydrogen bonding between hydrogen of the ammonium ion and oxygen. So it is the combination of two different forces which makes a salt bridge. Metal ion interaction. It is the type of coordination complex in which positively charged central metal ion is coordinated with electronegative atoms of ligands due to lone pair of electrons. For example, prosthetic group in the active site of enzyme bind in this way. Here we have shown that zinc is coordinated with three histidine residues and a ligand or inhibitor which is bound with this zinc through oxygen. Ion dipole interaction. In this type of interaction, permanent cation or anion of one molecule attracts partial positive or negative pole of another polar molecule like when we dissolve sodium chloride in water. So here we have shown that chloride ion is surrounded by the positive pole of the water molecules. Hydrogen bond. It is the interaction between hydrogen bond donor and hydrogen bond acceptor. So what is the hydrogen bond donor? It is partially positive hydrogen atom covalently bound with most electronegative atoms like fluorine, oxygen and nitrogen. 
and hydrogen bond acceptor is the most electronegative atom due to active lone pair of electrons. Here we have shown two different hydrogen bond donor and acceptor. And these type of hydrogen bonds are important in different polymers like here we have shown that antiparallel sheets in protein containing hydrogen bond which is, which is shown in red dotted line. Carbon hydrogen bond. In this type of bond, hydrogen is bound with carbon and which makes, which is called hydrogen bond donor and on the other side, the hydrogen bond acceptor will be the most electronegative atom due to active lone pair of electrons. On the right side, we have shown that this is the hydrogen bond donor which is attached with carbon and this hydrogen makes interaction with this oxygen which is most electronegative and here we have shown that it makes with nitrogen. So all these are the carbon hydrogen bonds. <coughs> the next one is the halogen bond. Halogen bond is the interaction between halogen atom which act as electrophile and a nucleophile will be the more uh, most electronegative atom than halogen atom or maybe the anion. Here we have shown a halogen bond in which fluorine which acts as an electrophile and oxygen acting as a nucleophile. So it makes a halogen bond with oxygen which is shown in cyan color. On the other side here we have shown that it makes a hydrogen bond. Comparison of different bonds or hydrogen bonds. Hydrogen bond, it, sh it shows that here is the donor which, which is covalently bound with hydrogen. The donor will be the most electronegative and then here will be the acceptor which will be the most electronegative. While in case of carbon hydrogen bond, hydrogen will be covalently bound with carbon. And in case of halogen, the donor will be bound with halogen and then it will make an interaction with the lone acceptor. Van der Waals forces. Van der Waals forces include dipole-dipole interaction which are also called as keystone forces. In this type of interaction, partial positive pole of one polar molecule attracts partial negative pole of another polar molecule. So both of these will be the polar molecule and the partial positive end of the one polar molecule interacts with partial negative end of the other polar molecule which is shown here with dotted lines. Dipole induced dipole interaction. These forces are also called as D-by forces. In this type of interaction, one permanent polar molecule induces dipole in another non-polar molecule due to interaction with it. With it. Let's suppose here we have a dipole molecule water and when it interacts with non-polar molecule like here we have shown an example of neon so it makes a dipole of this neon so uneven distribution of electron makes it a dipole. London dispersion forces London dispersion forces are third type of Van der Waals forces in which induced dipole induced dipole interaction occurs so unequal distribution of electrons make a nonpolar molecule a polar which is called as temporary or instantaneous dipole and interacts with another nonpolar molecule and makes it a polar due to uneven distribution of electrons so the force of attraction between two dipoles instantaneous and induced dipole makes a London dispersion forces so both of these will be the temporary dipoles. So if we compare these Van der Waals forces, so in case ohm forces, the interaction will be in between dipole dipoles, while in case of D by forces, one will be the polar molecule and the another will be the non-polar molecule, while in case of London dispersion, both molecules will be non-polar and they induced with each other. Pi-pi interactions are pi effect. 
first one will be the pi pi stacking so in pi pi stacking pi electronic clouds interact with each other this case is most common in aromatic rings or in condensation system here we have shown an example of pi pi t shaped interaction between these molecules in t shaped interaction we have three different types of pi pi stacking sandwich t shaped and parallel displaced in sandwich both pi or benzene rings are overlap or parallel to each other while in case of t shape the tail of the one benzene ring interacts with head of the other benzene ring and in parallel displays both will be displaced from each other pi anion interaction here we have shown an example of pi sulfur interaction aromatic ring interacts with this sulfur ion and these are known as pi sulfur interaction and here is the pi pi t shape which is pi interaction and another type is pi cation interaction like for example pi a interacts with ammonium ion so pi cation interaction next type in pi pi interaction is pi alkyl interaction in this case pi electronic clouds of the conjugated conjugated system or benzene ring interacts with electrons of the alkyl group so here we have shown an example of pi alkyl interaction and the last one is the hydrophobic effect hydrophobic effect is the tendency of nonpolar substances to aggregate in an aqueous solution when they are dissolved in an aqueous solution they tend to displace themselves so that the hydrophobic end becomes inside or towards the inside of the molecule like prop folding of the proteins or micelle formation but here we have shown an another example of alkyl alkyl interaction so alkyl alkyl interaction represents hydrophobic effect comparison of bond energies of intermolecular forces there are different bond energies for different type of interactions we have shown in kilojoule per mole and kilocalories per mole like ionic interactions in case of two different molecules when interact to make a salt the energy will be almost 250 to 500 kilojoule per mole depending on types of bond and in hydrogen bond the energy will be 20 to 180 kilojoule per mole and the average is 40 to 50 kilojoule per mole in halogen bond it is almost similar in strength with hydrogen bond and the energy will be 20 to 180 kJ per mole in dipole dipole interaction the energy values will be 5 to 20 kJ per mole which represents that the, these are the weak forces than hydrogen bond or ionic interactions and in this case lerner dispersion forces are more weaker than dipole dipole or dipole induced interactions and the energy values is 1 to 10 kJ per mole and the last one is the pi effect or hydrophobic these are the least stable are the uh, they, they they are very weak forces and the energy values is 0.5 to 5 kJ per mole if we look at the relative strength of intermolecular forces we can compare these uh, so intermolecular forces as the salt bridge which contains ionic interaction and as well as hydrogen bonding may be the more stronger than ionic interaction only and then these will be the most stable or then metal ion interaction and metal ion interaction have relatively they are more stronger than ion dipole interaction and these electrostatic these interactions will be the more stronger than hydrogen bond and halogen bond which are almost nearly equal in strength and then these for these hydrogen and halogen bonds are more stronger than carbon hydrogen bond and then moving to the van der waals forces these are weaker than the above two types of forces and dipole dipole interaction is stronger in van der waals forces than dipole induced dipole forces and these are stronger than lenden dispersion forces which are induced dipole induced dipole forces and then moving on 
that pi effect is more weaker like pi cation is, st is more stronger than pi anion and then pi pi stacking and the least one is the pi alkyl interaction and at the end the alkyl alkyl interaction or hydrophobic interaction are the most weaker than all other types of interaction. So here we have shown the relative strength of intermolecular forces. If you like my video please subscribe and share. Thanks.